point in time if you start feeling that kind of way like me it's time to talk reparation no nobody want to talk that that one fella clap like only I like money and thing on <laughs> anyway we like to say ladies and gentlemen one of the things that we ought to do is to always pay close attention to the fact that education is the key Regardless of what happens, education. And if you know the song, if you remember the song, you know what to do. Okay? Education. Mr. Sandy Joseph, dedicated to you. Education, education, this is the foundation Our rising population needs sound education To be recognized anywhere you go You better have your certificate to show To enjoy success children go to school and learn well otherwise later on in life you're gonna catch real hell without an education in your head your whole life will be pure misery you're better off dead. for there is simply no room in this whole wide world For an uneducated little boy or girl Don't allow Don't allow idle companions To lead you astray To earn tomorrow you got to learn Today Move on Is your education sweet? Essential, very essential to have your credentials. Remember, if you are block headed like a mule, no one will employ a fool. You will be the last one to be hired, and the 
You know, it's one thing, it's one thing you had to say about the English, you know, when 
when they realized that there wasn't much more to get to extract from us, they decided to give me a little independence. We're so glad for the little liberation, so we take it. But the fact of the matter is, they never prepared us. They never prepared us for that, you know. The song I just sang there, they had to prepare us that way, give us good education. And then they told us, no, you know, you know, guys how to federate and all sorts of different things and become one, this and that, the other. But the kind of education that they give us to learn to do this federation thing is a funny thing. How you expect us to federate, to know about each other, you never taught us anything about that. I don't know nothing about people in Jamaica, and they know nothing about people from down here. What's again if you're from Grenada? <laughs> so you know what happened there? They will tolerate Trini, but you see, and they say, you, 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 you from Trinidad? I say, yes, man. They say, oh, okay. Somebody said, don't mind me. Don't mind. <laughs> but they could say what they want, they can't take my passport here. <laughs> say what they want, I'm a Trini. Trini by boat, Trini by boat, anyhow you look at it, Trini. Strong, and anytime you play the anthem, you see me stand up. Fum, 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 fum. You understand? You don't get me saying nothing for that. Regardless of whatever has happened. Okay. Right now we want to tell ladies and gentlemen that the kind of education that they give you is a joke. It's a real joke. You don't find so? Dan is the man in the van and a, and a man, a, a fig and a pig and a... Tell them, tell them what you think. There's a trailer on board. You don't try this shoe, let's go to this shoe. Let's... I feel you trying to trip me, you know. This shoes you like. Try the thing good now, man. You want to see me fall on me so you can laugh. Well, according to the education you get when you're small. You will grow up with true ambition and respect for one and all. But in my days in school, they teach me like a fool. They think they teach me I should be a block and in mute. What they teach me? They tell me pussy has finished his work long ago. And then they say,
car The piper's son Stole a pig and away he ran And once there was a woman who lived in a shoe She had so many children and she didn't know what to do He carried, he carried up The mouse ran up the clock The lion and the mouse A woman pushing a cow to eat grass On top of her house And then is the man in the van It's about be a rabbit and rumpel tin skin oh. They wanted to keep me down indeed They tried their best but couldn't succeed You see, my head was done See, I'm up to now I can't read So who the hell I care about Peter? Peter was a pumpkin eater The lily butt people tied Gulliver But I was sick and lay a bed I had to pillow at my head And the goose lay the golden egg Spider catching fly, Morocco with wings flapping in the sky. They beat me like a dog to learn that in school. If my head was bright, I would not be a damn fool. With Dan is the man in the van. Can it pick? That's a G for a thing. Mr. Mike was the school on a bank. Little boy stood. In his shoes, and he wandered. He stood in his shoes, and he wandered. Can he pick? That's a jig for a fee. Let me hear you. Can he pick? That. <laughs> Too early. <laughs> hey, Dan is the man in the van. I said, Dan is the man in the van. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Dan is the man in the van. All right. <laughs> you hear, you hear, you hear. All right, all right, I hear you. I'm telling you, you should patent that, that, um, that, that scream there, man. You can make a good motor car horn. <laughs> the fact of the matter, ladies and gentlemen, that, we, you know, I was so disgusted with this kind of teaching, you know. From, from, from very young, I was rebellious. I said, this thing can't be for real. You know, teach me the kind of thing that I want to know, you know, because of uh, eating habits and so on, because my mother said, make sure, eat it, eat it, you must eat food. And I know that when you eat too much food, which of course I didn't know back then, but I kind of did suspect. <laughs> that you would either end up with some kind of disease, and as black people in this country, when you eat too much food, your belly gets big, you look like pot belly, then after that, are you watching at my show? <laughs> this is not... There's money to come. <laughs> money to come. Yeah, you know, teach children the things that are important to them. Teach them the fact, that, you know, the importance. Don't wait until they get old to learn this, you know, the importance of a good diet and exercise. Put that all in the, in the, in the, in the early book, you know. Tell them about my mother can cook a soup with a hot red pepper and the more you eat it, you, all them kind of things. You feel the more gook and grime and grease and thing that you eat, you better, you understand? You go feed them children them bad food? Pigtail with butter and lard. <laughs> Saltfish too. Anyway, the fact of the matter is that when they was teaching me this kind of thing in school, I decided to rebel and the teacher fine. I was too um, uh, disrupting and, and, and decided to put me in the back bench. You, Francisco, get in the back bench, right? Go in the back and sit down. So they put me in the background. And you know, all who was in the back bench with me, see them fellas and they sit down. So. <laughs> them boy and them was in the back bench with me because they was following me. And when we reached in the back bench, <laughs> we had our own entertainment going on there, which I thought was more elevating and edifying to the mind because um, I wasn't giving them down as the man. This is what I was telling them in the back bench. 
Sweet, nice thing. This one is called Children's Stories. Children today, I find them amusing. Some people say they find them so damn confusing. For the things children do, make you think they had them well. But from my point of view, I find them to be jokey like hell. Imagine. Two little children made him make it skin. The both of them learning how to swim. The little girl asked the boy, What is that? He said, I don't know. She said, well, Let me play with it. He said, No, you're crazy. You break yours off already. Games without names You will find them playing Stupid, stupid games They will find it very interesting Lash for lash Touch for touch who reach last is a loss. Some of them playing hopscotch. Some of them playing dolly house. Little big head Jack telling Merle, girl, come back we play. Sun in nose hole. She bent down to pick up sand and then he bent down to fully hand. He said, hey, to do, I play. Ago. A little boy named Stephen Tell me he know How people does go up to heaven Well his explanation Make me laugh until I drop Didn't like the conversation I had to beg the little boy to stop He tell me Raise you two foot in the Going to heaven up there. I see my mama with she two foot waving and calling. Lord, you're coming. But lucky thing, my daddy's strong. He wrestles she down. Otherwise, she go. Now you know, when you give um, children this kind of education and then later, later on, you want them to come and federate. And what do you know I can't understand? The very people who taught me. You must be from Jamaica. <laughs> the very people who taught me that if at first you don't succeed, try and try again, boy. You will succeed at last. Isn't that what I said? Well, they made one attempt at federating. It didn't work. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea, I don't know. But the fact of the matter is they made one attempt. Never tried again. Never gave a chance to see, well, if, you know, Trinidad could keep the oil. 
and they could keep their bauxite and thing. They want the oil, and Dr. William gave them a kind of fuzzy mat according to George Bush. Fuzzy mats, one from ten. <laughs> Federation, ladies and gentlemen! People want to know why Jamaica run from the Federation. Yes, they want to know why Jamaica run away from the Federation. Jamaica have a right to speak your mind. That is my opinion. And if you believe in democracy, you'll agree with me. But then they know they didn't want Federation. And they to unite as one Independence was at the door Why did they speak before? This is no time to say you are federated no. oy, oy, oy.
All right. I know, you know, in Jamaica, they had their reasons. But you know, one of the things that I heard, I don't know how true it is, somebody said, Trinidad want to come and take away Jamaica from the Jamaica. Is that, is that a rational? Who won that kind of headache? <laughs> 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 Come to Jamaica and take with Jamaica from the Jamaican. People all in Savlama, Oraka, Bessa, Port Antonio, Maypen, Mandaville, Kingston, all over the place. You could rule them people? All in um, um, maroon tongue. Are you kidding? We wanted to be in you know, it. Anyway, I think the, 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 um, the, the general consensus is that the closer you are, you know, the close proximity to the United States makes you a little bit better. I don't know if you feel that way. You don't? You never talk to nobody from the Bahamas, boy. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> Under the belt. Anyway, we're going with our, my favorite one here now. These are the good citizens, ladies and gentlemen. The good citizens. Do we have any here this evening? Really become a good citizen. I'd like to know for sure. Well, when the ordinary man disagrees with the establishment, they call it treason. Why should they prosecute a brother for seeking black power? Don't they know a blind man could see that this is blatant hypocrisy? The real traitors and them are all high in society. And the government protecting all of them and penalizing you and me. And in a million different ways they violate the law. It's these same good, no good bastards who oppress the poor. They selling black market, making excess profit, paying a starvation salary. Them good citizens are the architects of economic slavery. They say you have the right to criticize, but then you are victimized. And without any reason. Many a time you find yourself politically paralyzed. Enjoy a long life of luxury while they spread corruption throughout the country. When they should be arrested, they're protected and respected in this society. And in a million different ways, they violate the law. It's these same good, no good bastards who oppress the poor. They're selling black market, making excess profit, in a starvation salary. These good citizens are the architects of economic slavery. Fraud and strife, they specialize. Double deals, double deals, they idolize. And if you're brave enough to open your mouth and criticize, one time you are ostracized and or victimized. Still they go unpunished and unaccused of any crime, while on the backs of the ordinary man these vultures climb. 
They use the riches and the power, make a mockery and the law and how the law protect them. Same time, in a million different ways, if I violate the law. It's the same good, no good bastards who oppress the poor. With the false declaration, tax evasion, the fraud in custom duty. These good citizens are the architects of economic slavery. Toys, the bourgeoisie have no regards for me. Manipulating politics, control economics and industry. They live in luxury while we see misery. Elected officials who we depend upon and who we trust to see that no expatriate take advantage on us. Same good, no good bastards who oppress the poor. Now they pushing child pornography, carnality to breed more delinquency. Them good citizens are the architects of economic slavery. Hey, the good citizen. Uh, I only hope we don't have any good citizens here tonight. Huh? You know, sometimes I like to poke fun at the people, you know, the rich people and thing. And even I want to poke fun by talking the truth, huh? Have you ever, you remember hearing this one? I know they ain't played much with Neurosis of the Rich. You heard it? You will get that dice later. We had the thing bracketed in such a way. We will miss Mary and them come in later. You know? Neurosis of the Rich, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> it just goes to show that rich people are very jealous of us. Poor people. You don't think it's possible? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da Yes, Hans. Contrary to yesterday, when wealth was a social law, the official concern today revolves around the poor their sexual fancies and wild emotion unemployment education ethnic composition have now become interesting studies of exhaustive attention the rich cannot understand how people getting so much attention they cannot live with this rejection they would like to be the object of concern but idleness has no value of its own the methodology of conspicuous consumption and waste The display of diamonds and ruby is now commonplace For the theory today is that wealth in its fear Is a source of destruction, frustration and fear For the wealthy, life is built on despair Say it again For the wealthy, life is built on despair Once 
upon a time People only had to know That you had more than just a dime For them to make you a big hero But now that present scholars and great professors Academic educators, religious advisors Occupy all the time working on some safety poor project The rich get very upset at the attention poor people get They see themselves as sad victims of neglect Yes, they have so much But to find companionship Every month they have to take a pleasure trip To gamble away loads of money On roulette and dice Coasting and toasting and boasting To be recognized Knowing deep down inside They are faced with extinction For wealth in itself Ain't no sort of distinction They exist In a state of disillusion Say it again Yes, they exist In a state of disillusion Music in the place When a high class broad Ravaged by gross ill health But by your throw she pride overboard Then combines her rank and wealth With obesity Swollen, tortured face Advanced nymphomania and repellent grace Pay out large sums of money Trying to procure some loving But true love I must insist Cannot be captured like this No, no, no It just cannot be purchased So they will flock to bars Luncheons and parties Flashing cars And counting calories In an effort To create discussions Of great importance Flaunting the rank and the wealth To gain acceptance But that feeling of guilt From deliberate mistakes Night after night Keeps them ever awake it's too much for them to take Say it again Money heartaches It's too much for them to take Money heartaches It's too much for them to take Money heartaches To my partner clapping there, but he have more money more than the law allow. That is all right, man. You know, I'm glad I know you when, when you know, in the old days. Remember I tell them today, the man used to have me pushing the car. Get a car? We used to call it the wrong tongue. I couldn't go no further than Piccadilly Street. <laughs> wrong tongue car. The driver and owner, Mr. Neil Malaki Jones. His riding partner. Mighty Sparrow. His pushing partner, Mighty Sparrow. The man the Jacob the car, Mighty Sparrow. Boy, I tell you. You know, you owe me a lot, you know. But it's all right. I will collect that. You, you, we go past by the bar just now, one thing. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to another favorite of mine. This one has to do with, um, I don't know if you remember, when um, Nelson Mandela was oh, welcome to the fold, the Western fold, that is. Nelson Mandela came and Ted Koppel interviewed him on TV. Were you paying attention? Yeah. Nelson Mandela came, you know, because all the years he was sort of um, neglected, abandoned, if you will, in South Africa, fighting all kind of fight, and then eventually whatever happened, I think it was Reagan, decided to embrace him in the fold. And Ted Koppel decided, well, all right, now that you are here, we decide to welcome you because we think you went through enough Robins Island, etc., etc. But you must neglect and abandon and debase Muammar Gaddafi, Fidel Castro, and Yasser Arafat, enemies of the West. And he refused. That's the whole basis for the song. I owe no apology, he said. <laughs>
Interviewing Nelson Mandela on a TV show. Ted Koppel was the interviewer. I want you to know. He wanted Mandela to condemn Muammar Gaddafi, Fidel Castro, Yasser Arafat, right there on TV. Mandela said, These people helped me when apartheid was on the rise. I dealt with them out of necessity. So I will not apologize, you hear? Though it grieves me to see the people suffering, but chains of bondage have been placed on my head to impede my progress. And then the man said, thorns and thistles have been laid on my bed to curtail my rest. I've been tortured and suffered immensely. They isolate me, incarcerate me. Still, in spite of their barbarous cruelty, I will never apologize for my identity. For my color, it is part of me. I'm wearing it bravely with honor, pride, and dignity. How can I say sorry for a boat right made proud by my forefathers? A skin that blends with the darkness of night, yet distinguishes me from others. There were times I know because of it, tears of sorrow had filled my eyes. But the Lord made me free in spirit, so I will. Subject me to gross inhumanity, brutality, hostility. Still, no matter how rough their tactics be, I will never apologize for my identity. Personally, I have done no wrong. What I have endured physically have made me more strong. How can I be ashamed of a mind that refuses to be twisted? A heart as warm as the morning sunshine. A character so gifted with these trials and tribulations. I am fulfilling destiny in my quest for emancipation. share of pain and misery it was ghastly dumb right nasty but they surrendered now and shouted victory cause I'll never apologize for my identity
Nelson Mandela is the living example of this next song coming here. Man will survive. He did survive. Come out and he divorced me. Because she was surviving without him. Come out and he went to Mozambique. And he do a thing and thing and he come back and he beat a drum. You know how the thing does go. you 
pursuit of happiness, searching for material bliss, we have toiled unceasingly, giving of our very best in this never-ending quest, we have sought increasingly. Disappointed by our friends and betrayed by conjugal dates, surrounded by crime of every sort. For us is the test of faith Emphasized by condemnation Penalized with retribution But we will survive Don't care what people say Man will survive To see Yet a brighter day It's a mountain we're climbing Some will rise, some will fall They'll be slipping and sliding, but at the back of it all. Metaphysical, deep and spiritual, till the master called, we fight for survival. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Society, melting pop communities, they are several rules and laws. Where the poor become subservient to the rich and affluent, or they show their fans and clubs. Divided by creed and race, it ain't easy to be free. No one knows for sure if we really can. as one family sometimes it's hard to find solution but nothing conquers the will of man we will survive though times may be rough man will survive we know how to be tough so let nothing divide with all for one one for all feel the power the glory, cause at the end of it all, though we whine and ball, breaking down dance hall, when the master call, we fight for survival, oh yo 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 yo, Savages haunted by unrighteousness, traumatized by ignorance, time and place and circumstance, faced all kind of prejudice. Subjected to slavery, bound by economic chains, quick to hold but slow to develop. Daunted by redundancy, plagued by emotional pain. For all we just wouldn't stop Christ surrender or give it up no, We will survive As we have Throughout the years Man will survive Through pain Sorrow and tears To ensure our existence To walk proud to stand tall Yet to humble in his presence Cause at the back of it all no mistake at all Unity is essential When the master call We fight for survival